Welcome to an example of a fairly informal proof of the very famous principle called the pigeonhole principle. The pigeonhole principle states if more than n pigeons fly into n pigeonholes, then at least one pigeonhole will contain at least two pigeons. Notice the pigeonhole principle is an implication in the form of if p then q, where the statement p is more than n pigeons fly into n pigeonholes, and the statement q is at least one pigeonhole will contain at least two pigeons. We will use the proof method of proof by contrapositive to now prove the pigeonhole principle. Recall the skeleton proof of if p then q by contrapositive is to assume not q, explain, 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 therefore not p. If the implication if not q then not p is true, then the original implication of if p then q is true because the two implications are logically equivalent. We begin the proof by supposing the statement not q. Suppose each of the n pigeonholes each contain less than two pigeons. This means each of the n pigeonholes contain zero pigeons or one pigeon. All n pigeonholes containing zero or one pigeons indicates there are at most n pigeons, which is not more than n pigeons, which is given by the statement p, and therefore not p is true. It follows the contrapositive of the given statement is true, therefore the pigeonhole principle is true. Again, this is a fairly informal proof of the pigeonhole principle, but I think it gets the job done. I hope you found this helpful.